It is more than a place to get a meal. The Jewish Jelly is a community forged in food. KTLA's Lynette Romero live at a new exhibition with a preview for us. Lynette, good morning. We are here at the Skirball Cultural Center, and this new exhibit starts tomorrow, but we get a sneak peek. We have here Kate Thurston. Uh, thank you so much for being here. A Jewish deli, uh, it's being called I'll Have What She's Having, a Jewish, Jewish deli. Now, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. And over here, we're exploring the pull that musicians, Jewish creatives, writers have had with the deli, why they return to it as a character, as a setting, and really it's magic in film and television. So you can watch Watch some of those iconic clips right here. I mean, it brings you back and it feels so homey. It makes you feel like you belong. Absolutely. We wanted to evoke that sense of community and warmth that you get at a deli here in the gallery. So we're looking at all these amazing signs and uniforms, and you have the stories. There are some really cool stories over the years. Let's talk about Kay. Yes, let's talk about Kay. So in this section of the gallery, we wanted to get at the community of Delhi, the people, the workers, the owners who make the deli a home. And Kay Coleman was a waitress at Nate and Al's for 38 years. And upon her passing, one of her regular customers, Larry King, said that to call Kay Coleman just a waitress was like calling Sigmund Freud just a doctor. <laughs> and these jewels that she's wearing, that's really a cool story. Yes, you know, she had such a vibrant personality. She was known for her sass, her one-liners, but also her warmth. And I think that really comes through in, in what you see here in gallery. Now, when you come through this exhibit, there's, there, there's the interactive part where you can put on, you know, the bagel face, all that. You can write your favorite order here uh, that we're showing. But you really learn about the history. You learn about immigration. You learn about all kinds of things of why a Jewish deli is so important to our culture. Yeah, absolutely. You know, what we found so interesting in the research process is that Jewish deli, the foods that make it up, pastrami, rye, the mustard, those were foodways from across Central and Eastern Europe. But when Jewish immigrants from predominantly Eastern and Central Europe came here, those foodways combined to create the Jewish deli we know today. So it's the story of immigration, but it's a story of people coming together in America and creating this uniquely American restaurant. You don't have to be Jewish to love the Jewish deli. Let me show you some information right there on the screen for you. It starts today, it runs, it starts tomorrow. It runs through September the 4th. You can get all the information uh, right there at that website on your screen. Uh, and I got to tell you, it really is enlightening when you look at all of the history and think about the pop culture and the future of the Jewish deli. I'm Lynette Romero. I'll send it back to you. I have an idea. Let's do a best deli in L.A. Concert. Yay! Oh, wait. I already, doubt. Oh, already did that. Let's yeah. do it again. Pastrami <laughs> sandwich, a thousand island dressing with some coleslaw. Lynette, please. That's all. I, you know, you think about your order. She's not in what the deli. You... She's had a <laughs> exhibition. Yeah. I know. <laughs>